Hello and welcome back to EU4. We are going to continue our Muscovy campaign here. So, I've been giving it some thought. Of course, we're fabricating up there. What is this? This is the annexing. Let's go ahead and cancel you. And... We pretty much have to kill these guys before we go to war, probably. I mean, it's possible that Uzbek's army or somebody will run into them for us. Because it looks like Uzbek will join this war now. Because they are at peace with their dudes. Um, let's get these guys on their way. Gonna have to... Think about how I want to handle this. Because they're if I leave, they're going to try to come here... But it's also possible that they'll try to come here through there and attack there. So let's move this army off. They might come this way and go, but we'll have 60 months again to deal with them. Because they've been reset to zero again. So it'll take them a while to get the fort siege down as well. So let's get these guys moving down this way. So that we can just come down here and just have overwhelming force against our, our uh, Crimea down here. money is kind of an issue I don't want to drop my uh, maintenance yet do we have anything we can do with you no I really wish I just if I had just that bugs me if I had just uh, allied them none of they, this would be in a much better situation in terms of getting everything done peacefully around here okay Austria broke their alliance with Bohemia that's probably because Bohemia is taking Poland's side and stuff so it's fine with me if Poland wants to get crazy like that you are still allied with the right people cool beans All right, so I can probably I don't have access Let's get permanent military access there. It'll make things a little easier. Let's see if we can roll a new general here. Decent. You go off that way. Pretty much, he's going to have to make a run for Crimea here. And then you can come down here. And they're going to have naval superiority because I don't really have a navy down here. And this guy's only got four transports and one light ship. That's not really going to help. God damn it, why are you at war with... Georgia, I forgot about that. You irritate me, sir. I would have much rather had you involved in this war. And I would have much rather had you not annexing... I'm allied with them, so I can't enforce a peace, can I? I can enforce peace with you and join this war. Okay, so wait a minute. The country you want to side with, okay. You side with them. Would they we they would still be the war leader, unfortunately. I'm just trying to think how we can salvage this with Georgia coming out in one piece, because I would have liked to have allied them too. They were getting close to being ready. So you are who? Some sort of country down there? Where do you even exist? Over there? Okay, you're that country. Okay. <sighs> So you guys are having a separate war with Georgia? Okay, okay, I gotcha. I can't get there. It's like I, could, I can enforce peace probably on these guys. Take Georgia's side. And enforce peace, take this. Okay, they would do this, wait a minute. Enforce a white piece, positive. Can't def 
force piece of the defender of the war. That's too bad. Because they, they are the ones who get attacked. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll just ignore the shenanigans that are afoot down there, I suppose. And I kind of want to keep my manpower instead of spending it on troops right now. And we'll just have to deal with the repercussions. This is going to make them too big to vassalize. I just realized that, because they're going to get a whole bunch of territory here. They're going to be too big to vassalize. I'm not happy with you guys. I'm not happy with you guys at all. Oh, well. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so everybody will join in. If I offer you territory, you'll join in. You will not because you're in your war. Well, you know what? We'll just wait for the war to end. It probably won't be that long. I would kind of rather have their help. If they're going to be jerks and go take a bunch of territory, I'd at least like it to be useful to me. Yeah, I figured they'd be coming across the border, which is annoying because that means they're going to secure all their stuff over there. I'll just let the fort fall again. I really don't care. I should probably, I wish I'd just turned off the fort, make that all go a lot faster. Those guys are driving me crazy, those rebels. I really wish you guys would just get your act together and deal with it. Wait, why did, did they just peace out? Now they pieced out of one of the wars, but... Did they lose a... They lost a territory on that too, didn't they? Why didn't I get a peace warning here? Let's set you as a country of interest, because you are. Are you a country of interest? You are, okay. It's kind of annoying. I didn't notice the pop-up over here. Looks like the Ottomans are expanding, so I do want to kind of start getting in here and messing up the Ottomans' day before too long. Having uh, this country here is a good boundary between us and the Ottomans, though. Right, let's just go finish these guys off. We'll come back down here and deal with this. We're not really doing anything at the moment anyway. Probably sensible. Damn Livonian order. Did I how far did we get here? I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, we want door patch for sure. I did not mean to click on that. I click on that accidentally a lot for some reason. And they got the fort before I got there. Damn it. How slow are you, dude? Is that like... Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Claim our stupid province back. I wanted the Golden Horde Separatists to be up there wrecking the day for these guys, but I don't want them to actually break away. Or the Kazani, whatever they were. They were from Kazan. So, while we are doing this, we have a free diplomat. What should we do with him? We shouldn't really do too much with him. Their liberty desire is low. That's unfortunate. We're running a negative balance because we're fixing that army. Let's drop our maintenance down because we're not attacking right away here. Try to get some money up so we can finish out that army there. How's everything going down here? About the same. It was so pretty too, having Georgia all intact down there. You guys bug me messing my day up Iraq damn it Iraq I'm gonna have to conquer so much stuff back because of you if you had just left them alone everything would have been fine 
It's got, and like I said, that's going to piss me off because these guys are going to end up being too powerful to even deal with. Ooh! Crimea has rebels. They'll probably just come and stomp them right away, but... Yeah, they have a bigger army. They're just going to wipe them out. I was hoping I could get down there and take advantage of that. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, nope, never mind. Never mind. Can we please get our fort back so we can get down there? I have stuff I need to steal. And we might as well just leave that fort on because we're going to be going to war. I'm going to additionally turn on a couple extra forts just in case people get any funny ideas about coming over here and trying to seize stuff from me. Oh, that was a weird thing. I thought the game, like, the video, it's going to look like the video skipped there, but they just was a weird lag spike. All right, marching down. And I believe my vassals are both in fairly crappy condition. Between them, they have nine soldiers. That's enough for them to siege a fort, at least. Okay, so let's get our maintenance up ahead of time so we're ready. It's going to hurt, but need to be ready. I am so angry with you. You really messed up things for me. Like, everybody's messing my day up. Don't you know the plan? Are you just you're probably just gonna get stuck by that fort too, aren't you? Alright, our truce is over with somebody I don't really care about right now. Fast forward a couple months so we can get our morale up before we do this fighting. What we got for tech here. I kind of don't want to do that because it's going to put us farther ahead. Let's buy that instead. Oh, what did that get us? Core creation cost, negative 15%. That's a handy thing. I didn't realize I was going to be getting one of my little idea pip things done. Who wants what? You want military access. Why? What are you doing, Sweden? You're at war with a bunch of people. I mean, it's Poland's at war. Hmm. Poland's going to have access here. If I don't give Sweden access, they they have like a bunch of claims probably. Yeah, they have a bunch of claims up here. If I don't give them access, they probably won't be able to get... I'm going to piss off Sweden. I don't care. I would rather have them not have access up there. That's too bad, though. I was hoping the Teutonic Order would stick together for a little bit, but it does not look like it's going to. So hopefully... Maybe Poland will release another country again. If Sweden cannot get down there to attack. Alright, so I think is our morale up? It's up enough that we can declare. Because by the time we actually start fighting, it should be good. Okay, all of their stupid allies are going to attack. Uh, yeah, I'll promise you some territory. That's fine. Your war is still going on down here, or what? And there's nothing I can do to get you to go in. They're fighting another war still. Why will you not finish that damn war? It pisses me off. It's going to make it slightly more difficult than it needs to be, but whatever. I got my new friend Cher Cherengov here. They're going to surpass you. I'm going to end up having to attack you anyway because you're getting a little too big for your britches, I think. Okay, so we need to make sure we choose the right province here. One that we can get pretty easily and probably won't lose. Let's call it even though they're going to have to siege a fort down, a war goal will be that. We have our general in charge. Do we have military access? Probably one of them will get military access through there, so we'll probably be all right. That fort is blocking me, so... I 
Alright, whatever. I guess we'll just come down here and start sieging some stuff. Do we have military access? Surprised nobody's getting military access through Lithuania. Slightly irritated as well. It would make my life a little easier because we could bypass one of these forts and get troops down there because they're going to do the stupid ping pong thing. I guess I could ask for military access, but they very likely will not give me military access. Yeah, because they don't like us very much. They're almost ready to give us military access. But not quite. Really? You insulted us? You insulted us. You want to get your independent? Like, you want to get out from my... You know what? If you want to go befriend Lithuania, it's on you, buddy. When that truce is up, if you are not friends with Lithuania, you better be ready for a fight. Hope you know what you're doing there. I need your province anyway to create, uh, what's it called? Are you guys going the wrong way? They are going the wrong way. Why would you do this to me? Like, Well, we can probably stack wipe right there. Go help these guys out. This might have ended up well. Well, no, they're not going to fall for it. I don't really want to take them on with even odds. Let's go down here and double up. They broke off. They're being confusing. Okay, I don't have anybody set to attach. That's good. This should just be a stack wipe, I would imagine. Your vassal did not do you very much good. Where are you going to? Go in here. Let's have you ready to reinforce if you're needed. Who's honoring military alliances? Oh, that's his stuff from earlier. That's fine. Thought there was more stuff going on. God damn it. Well, it's kind of good if their army's tied up up north for a while. Gives us a chance to deal with this down here. This is more important. I'll let them siege some provinces up there. We'll just go take them back, but... Looks like another good fight. They're going to retreat, though. Which means they're going to go somewhere that I cannot easily get to. Well, maybe. We'll see if we can chase them down. They're going to go whichever way I am not. They always manage to be pretty good about that. They're probably going to go past that fort because I can't get to that. How did you even get up there? You're being silly. Who can we call? Yes. Come. Oh, they got a lot of land out of that. It's going to be too bad. We're in that stage right now where there's just armies like going all willy-nilly all over the place and I can't really control can't really control the flow of battle the way I would like right now. I don't think we're going to get down there in time to do what I wanted to do. Okay, they have no fort there, so we can probably siege those down pretty easily. Cool beans. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to actually catch up. Of course they're going that way. Of course they're going that way. I can probably split one of these armies off if we get a good victory here and go up north and try to deal with uh, our friends there. What are they? Uh, no guy. Looks like they're going to go siege some of their crap.
And are you still coming this way? You ran away again, didn't you? No, you're just chilling there. You're just chilling there. That's cool. You want to chill there? You can chill there. I will chill here. And we'll just stare at each other. And it will be fun. And then the fort will fall. And you will get killed. And it will be glorious. Okay, they are running back here. We need to turn on pretty much all the forts just to be on the safe side. Because they're just going to be running around all willy-nilly in our territory until we can get up there and deal with it but more important to deal with this down here right now need to focus I want that fort down so bad it's so time-consuming dealing with all this BS I really wish Uzbek had not joined because they actually have more troops than anybody what's their tech level like Tech 6, Tech 6. I think Crimea is the only one that's Tech 7, so at least we have an advantage in that. How close are we to getting another Tech level? Very. So, if we're two levels up on them by the time we're fighting them, that's not so bad. You are going where? Is if They're going to try to go up that way and go for the capital, so let's shift. We'll shift up. Wait for the fort to get captured. I should start sieging some of this stuff. Because I don't think we're going to need the forces right now. Let's send two down to start sieging that stuff out. And then the other guys will be back up. Hopefully we can just leave them behind to really deal with cleaning this up and we'll be able to take the main army up and deal with all the uh, other stuff. Because we need to start sieging down some of these things so they don't hire any more mercs and stuff. Corruption is non-existent right now, so I'll take the corruption over that. And let's get headed in there because it'd be good to reinforce. We're going to lose the fort. That fort has been through a lot in Kazan recently. Alright, we won. Let's go stomp you. Swing down here. This is this nine stack, so swing around thusly. And have you come back. Actually, you can come down here. Deal with that jerk. There's another jerk coming in here. I didn't even think you were going to be contributing to this, but apparently you are. Where are you going to? Down here. Stop you. Alright, we'll leave that like it is. Hopefully we'll have this front stabilized. It looks like that fort's about to fall. So that means we can kind of get in there. We're not going to be able to use this straight, unfortunately. To, that would be very helpful. You're going to go siege stuff in there? That seems like kind of a silly idea. To each his own. I don't really want you taking the attrition going through there. Do that. And that is probably good. Where are you going to? Major, Major, whatever. Actually, you should probably remain here and have these guys go deal with that. Like I said, somewhat annoyingly, they're going to have free access to either fort. There's two forts here, annoyingly, and they're going to have free access until we get some more stuff sieged down. And they're just up there wrecking my day. I got nobody up there that can handle it. We just need to get this done down here first. And these guys are going to be annoying just because they are small and not really worth going down with a whole army to siege. But I am kind of need to in a way. Okay, the fort fell. Let's kill these guys. And you guys go move up on our sieges now. Alright, we want another 
battle, but we still didn't get the actual stack wipe I'm hoping for. But we'll try to chase them down. They're probably going to go to Theodro instead of Crimea. I would if I were them because they're behind another fort. Who changed capitals? Georgia has changed their capital because they don't exist anymore. All right, well, we have a nice border with these, with Iraq now, with our friends here. And what's going on up here? They are sending more guys to go join. There's just going to be widespread nonsense going on up there, but I think this army is going to be free to go help pretty soon. We do want authority right now. We lost another siege. We gained another province. Where did they retreat? They did retreat all the way there, didn't they? No, they didn't. Did they go up there? I saw, like, a unit up there. Huh. Odd. Alright, have you come down here? Kind of getting this settled down. These guys, like I said, are just going to be a problem, because... Uh-huh, they're retreating... Probably fairly far away. Can I transfer this? How do I do the transfer thing? Occupied... There is a way to do it, is there not? No idea how. Those are all provinces of interest. I'm not really... Oh, wait, what is this? Transfer... Okay. Transfer to... Transfer to you. So that we can hopefully get that to them in a peace deal. I don't know why I was saying transfer. What is our situation here right now? We've lost like 10, 11 war score to those two forts being taken. So we do need to go take those back before we try to settle a peace. Because that's just going to be annoying. These guys are going up to try to join in. You are coming down to try to fight us here. So let's get you headed north. And I think I'm going to pause here because it's been about a half hour again. And we can at least probably get some guys standing on the fort even though they're going to be doing no good until other guys come and relieve them but where did my ally go seriously where is your army dude i have no idea is that yeah there it is it was right in front of me so they're probably just gonna actually deal with sieging this stuff down hmm all right, well, we'll finish this war in the next video. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.